Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Ryder. We are back with another unboxing video. Now this one is coming from Golden Goblin Press out of Queens, New York, Queens Village, New York. Um, I believe that this is a Kickstarter fulfillment, which is cool. This I think is one I've been looking for. <clears throat> looking forward to, excuse me. So we're gonna open her up and see what's inside. Golden Goblin actually has several projects underway right now, so I think I know which one this is, but there's at least a couple more. One more? I'm not sure how many more. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see what's inside. Oh, double packaged. I like that. I do like that a lot. All right. There we go. Now, let's see. Is there a receipt? Come on. Open up. Open up. All right. There isn't. That's perfect. Okay. Ooh. Here's our bookmark. Tales of Terror. So we've got Tales of Valor. And Tales of Terror. So Tales of Valor is a Kickstarter from a while back. Um, not too terribly long. And this looks, this looks nice. These are scenarios for Cthulhu. Three adventures for Cthulhu Saint, and set in ancient Egypt, ancient Rome, and Dark Ages France. The horror and adventure. Horror and adventure in the world of Cthulhu. From the cats of Ulther to those owned by Delapore in The Rats in the Walls, cats have held a special place of honor in the heart of H.P. Lovecraft. They are deeply embedded into the lore of the Cthulhu mythos. Of the Cthulhu mythos. We hope you'll join us on our journey into into the world of Cthulhu. Cats battling mythos horrors. Cthulhu, Velvet Paws on Cthulhu's Trail is a horror-based role-playing game by 60 Stone Press, an offshoot of the Call of Cthulhu RPG where the players portray cats investigating the Cthulhu mythos. Tales of Valor is the first collection of scenarios produced for Cthulhu using the 7th edition rule system, a compilation of three adventures set in ancient times by um, any award-winning authors. They are Triumphus Felis Ferre, set in 41 uh, Common Era, uh, Christian Era Rome by Jeffrey Muller. First the vermin became scarce, then and then kittens and cats began wandering off, never to be seen again. Later, people began acting strangely, disobeying the Praetorian guards and attempting to enter the Imperial Palace. Then the Emperor, Gaius, um, Gaius Julius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, known to later history as Caligula, himself vanishes, leaving the city teetering on the edge of utter chaos. Can a band of brave and proud Roman street cats solve the mystery and restore order to the Empire? Triumphus Felis Ferry is Latin for the triumph, all march of the wild cat, or more simply, stray cat strut. Clever. Shadow Harvest, set in 5th Dynasty Egypt by Stuart Boone. As harvest approaches, strange things are happening in the Temple of Bast outside of the city of Babastus. Uh, Two of the oldest and wisest cats have disappeared, and the kitten, and a kitten has been found murdered on the temple grounds. <clears throat> Can a group of heroic and cunning cats of the temple discover what has befallen their kin and uncover the dark secrets and blasphemous horrors that threaten all of Egypt? The Undesirables, set in Dark Ages France by Oscar Rios. The cats of Paris struggle to survive in a city driven mad with fear. The streets are filled with the dead, the dying, and the terrified as the uh, as a deadly and mysterious plague runs rampant, the church places the blame on Satan, black magic, witches, and their familiars, namely cats. As a purge of such undesirables begin, will the cats put a stop to the actual witches spreading the vile uh, pestilence, or seek to escape the city and reach the countryside? Uh, Sinister Seeds, nine scenario plots, three set in each of the above historical periods are included as well, so keepers can continue on... Uh, on to further Cthulhu adventures, the Council of Alexandria. One sole cat defends the Great Library of Alexandria and something, and sometimes defends humanity and civilization from the books contained within. And finally, the Council of Kingport. <clears throat> Kingsport. This council is a body of nine cats living their ninth lives, revered for their wisdom, bravery, and leadership. These cats are defenders of the city of Kingsport in both the waking world and in the dreamlands. So, oh, here's character sheet. Here are some of the Sinister Seeds for the adventures, and I've seen quite a bit um, of the art. It was, it was posted on the Kickstarter. Doesn't smell like anything. A lot of these print-on-demand things just have no smell. <clears throat> oh, that is cool. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. <laughs> the Cats of Golden Goblin's Press. Golden Goblin Press. 
That's cool. Oh, that's handy. I didn't see that on the back. Converting Cthulhu to 7th edition. All right, now, when you order this, you also get this. Tales of Terror. These are stories of cat-themed horror. Um, <clears throat> 16 stories of cat-themed horror. This is edited by Brian M. Sammons. From the Cats of Ulther to those owned by Delapore and the Rats in the Walls, cats have held a special place of honor in the heart of H.P. Lovecraft. Cats are deeply embedded into the lore of Cthulhu Mythos. Join us on 16 stories of cats and horrors, including cat heroes and heroines, cat villains, ghost cats, demon cats, cat dreamlands adventures, cat people, and cat-themed stories directly inspired by such H.P. Lovecraft classics as The Rats in the Walls, the Dreams in the Witch House, and Edgar Allan Poe's The Black Cat. So, is this, this is illustrated, too? Hold on. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Let's take a quick look. There might just be a... Oh, there are some illustrations. That's cool. So those illustrations looks like at the beginning of most of these stories. Very nice. And Golden Goblin does a wonderful job with their illustrators. They, 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 they make good choices. They make real good choices. <clears throat> what have we got? Brown Jenkins Reckoning by Edward M. Uh, Erdelek. Uh, Derpy Foot by Christine Morgan. The Cat in the Paul by Pete Rollick. Ghost Story by Brian M. Sammons. Palest of Humans by Don Webb. Bats in the Belfry by William Meikle. Michael. Satisfaction, Satisfaction Brought Him Back by Glenn Owen Barris. The Bastet Society by Sam Stone. Oh, that's a, that's a good name. The Veil of Dreams <clears throat> by Stephen Mark Rainey. The Quest of Pumpkin the Brave by Oscar Rios. Cats in the Rue, um, the Rue d'Aciel by Neil Baker. The Knowledge of the Lost Master by Andy Newton. The Ruins of an Endless City by Lee Clark Zump. A Glint in the Eyes by D.A. Uh, Madigan. A Field, a Field Guide to Wanderlust by Joseph S. Pulver Sr. And in the end, There is a Drain by Tim Wagoner. And it also came with this very nice bookmark, which is very cool. That's going to go right in here. And yeah, that's it. So there you have it, everybody. There's Tales of Valor uh, and Tales of Terror for the Tales of Valor, Tales of Terror Kickstarter. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. Here, I should take this out. And I will talk to you all next time.